Welcome back to P2. Today we're looking at the Remainder Theorem. It's unit 1.4. Now, the Remainder Theorem is essentially the same as the Factor Theorem. The only difference is instead of a f of x or a function equaling 0, at the end we'll be left with a remainder. Now, we can use algebraic division to find the remainder, or we can use the remainder theorem. So what I'm going to do is I'll show you how they both look. So first, let's use algebraic division, something that you should be quite familiar with by now. Very much the same as long division. Um, just fill this in. So we've got x cubed. Now remember, if we've got no x squared, we need to make that space. Minus 20x plus 1. And x minus 4 on the other side. Just remember this 0 x squared is important. It's just like place value if you're doing long division and stuff. x cubed divided by x is going to give me x squared. x squared times x is x cubed. x squared times negative 4, negative 4x squared. And then what I like to do is change my signs and add. And that means then I've got 0x cubed and 4x squared. I'll bring down my negative 20x. Now, 4x squared divided by x is just 4x. And then multiplying through, I get 4x squared minus 16x. And I'm changing my signs and adding. And this leaves me with negative 4x. Bring down my plus 1. Minus 4x divided by x is minus 4. And then multiplying through, I get minus 4x. Minus 4 times minus 4 is plus 16. And then changing my signs and adding, I end up with 0x and minus 15. So my remainder here is clearly negative 15. Now let's use the remainder theorem. So the remainder theorem is very much like the factor theorem. I first want to start by letting an f of x equal my function. This might already be given to you. And then I need to substitute in my root, which in this case will be a positive 4. So I'm looking at f of 4. So we get 4 cubed minus 20, lots of 4, plus 1. So that gives me 64, minus 80, plus 1, which is my negative 15. So the remainder is negative 15. And you can see that it's so much quicker to use this method. Now, in this example, we've got a function what is dividing by and the remainder. But in our function, we are missing one of the values. So for this one, again, I could use long division or algebraic division, but it's much, much quicker to use the factor theorem, or in this case, it's called the remainder theorem as there's a remainder. So let f of x equal my 2x cubed minus 3x squared minus 2x plus a. And when I substitute 1 in, I should be getting minus 4. So let's look at it. So we get 2 lots of 1 cubed, minus 3 lots of 1, minus 2 lots of 1, plus a. And I know that this equals negative 4. So we've got 2 minus 3 minus 2 plus a equals negative 4. 2 take away 3 is negative 1. Take away 2 is negative 3. So you know I've got negative 3 plus a equals negative 4. So a is clearly negative 1. Okay, nothing much to these. These are usually form part of a larger question. And what I'll do is I'll just give you a few to try yourself. And as always, I'll put the answers at the end. 
If this is your first time watching one of my videos or if you have been watching them before but you haven't subscribed, please consider hitting that subscribe button now. It just helps my channel grow and reach other people in need.